Hello, my dear students. This is Ms. Shaima Gharib, and today's lesson we are going to continue uh, average and range. And in this video, we are going to talk about the median. Let's start by revising some rules before you watch any video. You have to sit in a quiet place. You should have your pen and a piece of paper to take notes and to solve questions. You should pause the video after each question, then you try to answer on your own. Then you play the video to check your answer and to understand the question in case you get a wrong answer. Are you ready? Let's start. In this video, we are going to talk about the second type of average, which is the median. The median is the middle value of a set of data when it is arranged in order. So it must be arranged in order first. Then we'll pick the number exactly in the middle. If there are two values in the middle, we add them, then we divide by two. The median is a good average when there is a very high or a very low value in the data set. Now, let's see examples. Find the median of each of the following. We have here some different lengths in meters, 14 meters, 82 meters, 47 meters, 19 meters, and 56 meters. So step one, as we said, in order to get the median, arrange all the data from the smallest to the biggest. So I have to arrange these numbers from the smallest to the biggest. 14, 19, 47, 56, and then 82. What we should do next, pick the value in the middle. To pick the value in the middle, I'm going to cross the smallest value with the biggest value, the smallest with the biggest. Then I will be having one value exactly in the middle, which is the 47 meters. So the median value here is 47 meters. Now let's see the second example. Tom's marks for his mathematics test are shown in the table below. Here is the test number and the mark. In the first test, he got 80. In the second test, he got 85. In the third test, he got 75. In the fourth test, he got 90. In the fifth test, he got 88. And in the last test and the sixth test, he got 90. We said... In order to get the median, we arrange the data from the smallest to the biggest. So now we are going to arrange the marks from the smallest to the biggest. So 75, 80, 85, 88, 90, and 90. The 90 is repeated twice, so I have to write it two times because I have here 90 and one more 90. Okay? So don't forget to repeat the number if it is repeated in the data set. What we should do next, step two, pick the value in the middle. As we said, we are going to cross the smallest with the biggest, smallest with the biggest. Look here, we have two values in the middle. What did we say? If we have two values in the middle, we are going to add them, then we divide by two. So we are going to add the 85 and the 88, which is 173. Then, we are going to divide the 173 by 2, which is 86.5. So, the median value will be 86.5. Is this clear? What about the mode? Do you remember? The mode is the most repeated value. Which value here or which number here is most repeated? Of course, it's the 90 because it's the only value that is repeated two times. So the mod here will be 90 because the 90 is the most repeated number. Is this clear now, the difference, the median and the mod? If you don't remember the mod, please watch the video of the mod. Now, let's see how we can get the median using the frequency tables. The lengths of some caterpillars are recorded in the frequency table below. What is the median length of the caterpillars? In this table, as you can see, there are some different lengths in millimeters and frequency. 
And we said the frequency tells us how many times the number is repeated. So I have 25 millimeters and number two as frequency, which means the 25 is repeated two times, which means there are two caterpillars or 25 millimeters long. Is this clear? So I'm going to write the 25 twice, 25 and 25, which means there are two 25s. What about the 9 millimeters? The 9 millimeters is repeated two times, which means I have two 9s. Number 14 millimeters is repeated four times, which means I have four 14s. And what about 42 is repeated two times, which means I have 242. Okay, so now this is the set I have. What should I do to get the median? Arrange all the data from the smallest to the biggest. The smallest value here is 9, and the 9 is repeated twice. So I will start with the 9, 9, 9, then 14, 14, 14, 14, because the 14 is repeated four times. Then 25, 25, then 42, 42. How many caterpillars I have here? If I added the frequency, 2 plus 2, 4, plus 4, 8, plus 2, 10. So there are 10 values and there are 10 caterpillars. Okay, is this clear? What about step 2? We pick the value in the middle and we said we are going to cross the smallest with the biggest, smallest with the biggest. Smallest with the biggest, smallest with the biggest. Here, I have two values in the middle. So when we said, if I have two values in the middle, I'm going to add them, then I will divide by two. If I added that 14 plus 14, I will get 28. 14 plus 14 equals 28. Then 28 divided by two equals 14. So the median value will be 14. What do you notice here? If the number is repeated twice exactly in the middle, so the median value will be the same number. Is this clear? What about the modal lens? And modal is same as the mod. And we said the mod is the most repeated number. Which number here is most repeated? As you can see, it's number 14. So 14 will be also the model lens. And now it's our questions time. Let's see this question. The data below shows the scores of 10 students in a science test. We have here two, which means one student got two in this test. One student got five. One student got six, one student got nine, one student got ten, and so on. So the question here is, what is the model score? Do you remember how we get the model? The most repeated number. The second the question is, what is the median score? So let's start by the model score, which is the most repeated number. As you can see here, number 10 is repeated three times, and it is the most repeated number. So the model score will be number, yes, number 10. What about the median? We said in order to get the median score, first step, we have to arrange all the data from the smallest to the biggest. So now let's arrange. 2, 5, 6, 6, because I have 2 6s in the data, 7, 9, 9, then 10, 10, 10. So now, after arranging the data from the smallest to the biggest, I will choose the number exactly in the middle. I will cross the smallest with the biggest, smallest with the biggest, smallest with the biggest, smallest with the biggest and then I will be having two values in the middle. What did we say about this case? If I have two values in the middle, I'm going to add them. 9 plus 7 equals 16. 
Then I will divide the 16 by 2, which is number 8. So the median score will be number 8. This is the end of our lesson today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any question, please feel free to leave a comment and I will answer you as soon as possible. See you next video. And please remember that your feedback is highly appreciated. Thank you very much and see you soon.